Hey guys, this is Mystical Prism, month five, and most of the stuff you've done already. So we made some um, uh, flying geese, and we made some half square triangles, and I know you guys can do that by now, so we're not going to record doing that again. But the center of this square is done using a directional half square triangle. So, as you can see, Becky has cut out the squares and layered them together and pinned them. And then she's marked from corner to corner going each way. After she did that, she marked a quarter of an inch away from the center on the right hand side down to the line, turned it a quarter turn on the right hand side down to the line, number three, number four, and now she's going to sew on those lastly drawn lines that are a quarter of an inch away. So she's just sewing right down to the center line on the right hand side there. And uh, when she gets there, she doesn't need to backstitch or anything. She just needs to lift up, scoot over to the other side, and sew down on that side. Now she's going the other direction. So what these quarter square triangles, um, these directional quarter square triangles do is it helps you not to have to work with the bias because you would notice that the pattern had you cut everything um, and then you sew on the bias which is really scoochy. Um, but this way you're doing it just like you do a half square triangle. So no bias to work with. When we go to the outside edges, you are going to need to do this square by square. So now she's going to take off her pins and she's going to cut on the first lines that she drew that go right down the center of the block. And then as you notice, the light quarter square triangle is always on the left. There you go. So now you're just going to put the rest of them together into an hourglass block and then you just sew the block together. Okay guys, this is Mystical Prism um, block. Um, five as we were talking about earlier and here are your um, directional quarter square triangles right there and as you can see that light is always on the left that's really important when you put this together and the point is up by the way when the light is on the left so that makes that center pinwheel spin so you're going to take one of these and combine it with a dark um, square the cut in half of deep the darkest purple and that will make that piece and then you make these two pieces you're going to sew down the middle and then you just put it all together to make your pinwheel make sure you have that orientation in the correct spot very 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 important so that is these and on the outside are geese which we have done before so please if you have any questions about using the studio 180 ruler to get those perfect little geese and look at that point would you look at that point let me see if I can make it go a little bit closer I want you to see that point 
that is a perfect point right there. That is a perfect point. And the reason why my points are perfect is not because I'm a store owner and it's not because I'm magic. It's because I use the Studio 180 rulers to get that. And um, you are going to make eight geese, um, two of the dark purple flowers in aqua and two of the dark purple flowers with, I don't remember what that is. It's a different, different, um, it's the same as this square. And then the only other thing that we have is half square triangles. Let me turn it around so one of them is flat right here. So let me scoot this back again. And like I said, most of this you have done before. So you have geese and the hourglass blocks we just did combined with three other quarter square triangles to make a square. You're gonna make four of those. You're gonna make eight geese, four of each color combination, and you're gonna make four corner blocks out of half square triangles and then trim them up with the Tucker trimmer. So all of this you've pretty much done before except the hourglass block we just talked about. And I'm sure you're gonna do great getting this done. Isn't this pretty? You're only making one of them. So that's all for um, block five of Mystical Prism, and I'll see you all next month.